What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, reviewing today the Resident Evil 7 demo. In the last 20 years, this series has had a lot of ups and downs. From its survival horror roots to its slow evolution into an action game, Resident Evil has taken many forms, but this demo is something I never expected to see. To start with, it's completely first person. Throughout the demo, we're stuck in a farmhouse trying to find any way outside. Who we play as isn't exactly clear, but we do know that we weren't the only people who have been trapped here. While exploring, you can find VHS tapes of a film crew who came to the house to shoot a scary movie. Little did they know that they'd end up stars of a very different kind of story. These tapes are more than just something you watch. They're interactive. When you put one in the VCR, you take on the role of the cameraman for their project. This reveals more clues about the house and even secret passages. As you solve each puzzle, you're directed to your next destination. Checking a hallway might give you a lock cutter, which leads to a key or a fuse that activates a phone. Every item seems to be like a breadcrumb that we follow on a trail to uncover more hints about what exactly is going on here. The Resident Evil 7 demo is interesting but very strange at the same time because it seems to abandon everything that the franchise was built on. There's no combat, no zombies, and the few monsters we encounter are much more supernatural than what we've dealt with in the past. It seems Capcom is aiming for a much more defenseless, cold fear this time around. These changes aren't bad, but they are drastic. During the hour I spent wandering around this destroyed home, I was terrified, but also curious as to what all this will mean in the full game. The biggest mystery is yet unsolved is who is our character, what really happened to turn this family into murderous creatures, and what is the voice on the phone hinting at? Overall, Resident Evil 7 is weird as hell, and I'm eager to see more. Well, except for those creepy mannequins upstairs, I don't ever want to lay eyes on those ever again. Thanks so much for watching gamers, this has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But, do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Also, if there's anything I missed, please leave it in the comments down below. There's so many subtle secrets that there's a good chance I probably overlooked something and I want to know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.